How is it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my next Dead Man Mode tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about training spots. Now, a lot of people in the clan chat that I've been in have been talking about, you know, where is the most effective spot in the game to train prayer and a lot of other stats. Obviously, if you go to one spot, you're not going to find something. Whereas if you go to another spot, you might find some PKers. Here I'm going to show you a couple. Right here you see Moss Giant Island. It's an island off the coast of Brimhaven that requires agility, has safe spots, has food even, and is a pretty decent training spot. You can get a lot of prayer experience here, and it wouldn't be too hard to get your levels up too. I myself have gotten 41 range here, as you probably see on my screen. So, it's a pretty effective training spot, and I encourage you guys to use this training spot if you are looking for some somewhere to train prayer to get your overheads, because... Guinea overheads is one of the most important part in Deadman mode. Now another spot that you guys can go to is a rather lesser known spot. It's all the way in the Karajama jungle. You shouldn't have too much trouble getting there either. It's a quest location in the quest jungle potion. By the way, that quest is only done maybe the first two days in the Deadman mode tournament. Aside from that, they contain a lot of jogers, which are basically, basically moss giants, but they have like 10 extra health. They have a lot of safe spots, and it's really easy to kill them. As you see on my screen here, I'm going down into the cave. You notice that there's a bunch of techs that you gotta go through, so it's not really a good escape route. The amount of people that use this cave, I've seen maybe one other person come to this cave, and that's for a Slayer task. So it's a fairly decent place to trade, and I got all the way up to 55 raid share last night by going to this trading spot and stayed here. I also got my overheads too, so I'm pretty satisfied with this trading spot. I encourage you guys to go to this spot, it has a lot of good stuff on it, and I think it's a really good escape route. At first the jokers are aggressive, but if you stay there for about 20 minutes, they'll be unaggressive and any PKer that comes in will probably get hit by the jokers first, allowing you to teleport out of the area before they even get to you. The last spot that I'm going to talk about is, yes, it's fairly well known, but it's fairly good at the same time. The Fremenic Slayer Dungeon. If we look right here, they have a lot of monsters, like a ton of monsters. But, conversely, there's also two spots that you could get out of to really make it effective. The pros of this spot is that if you have 80 wood agility, you will be able to slay this cave without fear. There's a lot of monster drops, there's a lot of things that you can do here. The cause is, is it's extremely well known and PKers are likely to be in this location. But, the amount of monsters it has, the amount of HP that most of the monsters have, make it for a very decent trading spot, and it has a lot of trade-offs. So I think you guys should consider them. Now this has been my video for the trading spots on uh, Deadbed Mode. I encourage you guys to use these spots, and I encourage you guys in the comments to maybe say a trading spot that you guys think is effective. Thank you guys for watching my video, and have a good day.